you know, we'll, we'll, we'll meet a couple of times in the fall semester just to get everyone oriented to introduce kind of the, the country of Costa Rica, its people, its history. Um, and then we'll have a couple of uh, sessions, one about the healthcare system and one about ecotourism in Costa Rica. Um, and of course, you know, we want you to enjoy this country. We want you to uh, see the medical care uh, facilities and things that are offered there. But of course, but this is also a course for credit and engaged learning. So there will be uh, some work associated with it. Um, so uh, you know, in particular, you'll need to attend these three pre-trip meetings. Um, we'll give you some re assigned readings ahead of time. Um, and you'll do some sort of a small report and presentation before we uh, leave for our trip. Uh, while we're on our trip, you'll be keeping a journal um, that you'll be uh, writing in each day just to really, you know, make you sit back each day and think about what uh, you experienced uh, and hopefully, um, you know, take it all to heart. And then upon return, uh, you will do more of a research type paper um, on a topic related to some of the course content. And of course, uh, Dr. McCarthy and I will work with you on uh, deciding a topic and um, helping you with uh, that paper. Uh, and you'll present that at the end of the spring semester. So in reality, we'll be kind of working together for quite a few months um, overall. Uh, so this is, these are tentative dates, but um, you know, just to give you an idea of the sorts of topics that we envisioned for these pre-departure courses. You know, we were thinking uh, the first one would be most, mostly an introduction, like I said, to the country, to the people, um, to the history uh, of Costa Rica. And then we'll have one session each dedicated to kind of the main themes of the class, which are uh, healthcare um, and ecological health uh, within the country. Um, Kristen, do you want to say anything about the healthcare system itself? Yeah, so um, the, the interesting thing um, about the healthcare system in Costa Rica is that it's, it's a really um, well-run um, system that's really focused on primary care. So it's really kind of unique um, in the Southern Hemisphere for the way they go about addressing, um, meeting the needs of their, of their uh, residents. So um, <clears throat> we're going to spend some time um, switch my camera lens, looking at that system compared to the United States and what are some of the, the uniqueness and differences between the two. I would love to, and this is something that we're going to work on, do um, a focus on public health because that is so intertwined with how we deliver primary care. And I would love also now, given what we've been through with, with the COVID pandemic, maybe having some discussion around how they addressed um, what were some of the, the the ways they address that that um, really interesting pandemic in their country. So hopefully we'll be able to get to a primary care clinic when we're there, so we can really see how some of these uh, clinics are run, and then obviously the hospital visit. So it will really, I think, will be a um, a really interesting look at um, how a country that um, designed their healthcare system around primary care, as opposed to the United States, which really designed their healthcare system about treating you when you're sick and specialized care. Well, cool, yeah, and then, so actually this course was designed by a, a professor who just recently had to retire early because he uh, was, um, well, for various reasons. Um, and so Kristen and I actually kind of took it over last minute. Luckily, Kristen has a lot of the healthcare experience. I um, mean, it, it was first designed just as a health in Costa Rica um, trip and then but Dr. Yavala when he was designing it, you know, was thinking a lot about ecology and how important uh, Nature is for a lot of people's like mental health and things like that And so that's why we added the ecology portion of the trip and I was brought on um, And so another the other part of the trip will be visiting these ecotourism uh, destinations and thinking about the environmental health um, of Costa Rica um, in terms of things like climate change and stuff like that. Um, You'll see, we'll leave. It's a really, I don't know if anyone's been to Costa Rica, but have, 
Have you been to uh, Costa Rica before, Carrie? I have, yeah, but many, quite a few years ago, and I went to the Pacific Coast. We're going to go to the Gulf Coast this time, so I'm pretty excited about that. Yeah, so um, I was actually on the, the Gulf Coast a couple okay. of years. Real easy trip into San Jose, um, and um, should be, you know, that evening trip should be fine. Not a big deal with time, you know, time change or anything like that. Then Tuesday that we wake up, we do orientation, we go to San Jose, um, this Museo Nacional de Costa Rica. Um, we should, it's just the National Museum of Costa Rica. Um, so that day, first day is just spent probably getting, you know, acclimated and um, seeing San Jose. San Jose is a relatively small city. Um, and then it looks like we're gonna have a guest speaker, which would over about the health system. Uh, with a visit to a house, hospital or clinic in the afternoon. Um, and then I think we're going to do another one on Thursday. So it sort of fun ended a little bit on the hospital and healthcare system. Um, looks like we're doing some sort of coffee tour possibly on that afternoon. Um, NGO is a non-governmental um, organization, which is like a nonprofit. I'm not sure exactly what, which one we'll be visiting. Hopefully, um, it will incorporate maybe some issues around public health and... Is there a well-known NGO that the students might know about? In, Coast, in Costa Rica? Or in the U.S. Just kind of a term, I think, that... Uh, like, you know, uh, Doctors Without Borders, Food and Water Watch is a big environmental one, um, uh, Kiva.org, any of these oh, sort of yeah. organizations that, you know, have a focus on the community. Um, and then it looks like we have the a public health um, activity, which should be interesting. And then it looks like we leave on Saturday out to Gayabo Monument and a rafting trip and for the volcano, which should be interesting. Um, and then Sunday looks like it's a free day. Then Monday we leave. It looks like we haven't decided yet where, but we're going off to the Caribbean. I don't know where the hotel is yet there. And this is much more of the um, ecological part of the trip, snorkeling, which is optional, I guess, right? You don't have to go snorkeling. Right. I'm not a water girl, so I'm probably oh, no. not. I'll go with you guys. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I'll make sure everybody's well served on the beach. <laughs> and then uh, a walk in the National uh, Wildlife Refuge. Uh, oh, a chocolate and bana or a banana organic farm. You know, one thing about Costa Rica, for those that maybe haven't been there before, is that they are very, very committed to sustainable agriculture and sort of sustainable ecotourism. So um, uh, that's a big focus of the country um, in general. And then we do that. Then we head back to San Jose. Uh, we have possibly another hospital or clinic visit um, on Thursday. And then we go maybe some more art museum. And it looks like we spend the last day in San Jose doing some cultural activities. And then we leave on the 23rd. And that is the itinerary for now. Yeah, and so, you know, you guys will have a fair bit of time to yourselves as well. You know, you have a lot of uh, dinners and lunches and things free to, you know, explore the cities a bit or explore the coast. Um, but, you know, I think probably why a lot of you are interested in this trip is to, um, you know, see these hospitals and uh, clinics and things that are serving, you know, a, a variety of socioeconomic um, groups within Costa Rica, um, as well as to see these ecotourism spots. So we're very excited to uh, show you that and we have a whole bunch of experts and tours set up to um, help us with that along the way. Um, so uh, the business students uh, sign this up um, as a CBA. I think it's 315 class. You can sign up for it. Does, um, they, we sign up for it as a spring course, even though you're starting it in the fall and, and J term. But also, and I, and I feel a little bit bad saying this because it really only is available for the business school students, but there is a scholarship available for our CBA, uh, uh, Norm Bronsky College of Business students um, to take uh, that you have just, there's an application. It's called the Jim Bush Schol International Scholarship Fund and it, um, if you qualify, will pay for the trip. 
So if anyone's interested in that, you can email me separately. Unfortunately, it's only available to business students. You know, everything's a little bit tentative. So this is the first time we've done this course, but we'll probably have about three meetings in the fall, one in October, one November, one December, just to introduce the country and the people. And then we'll have one about the healthcare system and one about ecotourism within the country. And during one of those, the uh, CIE will come in and introduce the trip a little bit more and see measures and those sorts of things as well. So, you know, if you're a parent, we wanted to tune into that one that would probably be good to let them see you know all the danger will be <laughs> so. let them feel okay about it yeah. um so and actually thankfully when we're there in january the weather will be better so but it will be here yeah that's true i hadn't really thought about the escape of winter yeah so this last yeah. winter was my first winter in new jersey and it wasn't that bad it was pretty mild oh was not bad and pretty mild. <laughs>